Hey guys, what's up? Uh, I'm here to give you a basically an introduction to ANSYS uh, Static Structural. This is for people who just want to get started and you know get in and basically build a 3D model, import a 3D model, and uh, you know put some loads, some boundary conditions, and see where you know where's the maximum stress, see how it deforms, get a get a quick feel of of how to use the ANSYS workbench workbench interface. So uh, to get started we're going to open up uh, Workbench as you can see I already have it open. We're going to basically click and drag a static structural into the project schematic. And right away ANSYS asks you if you want to put in a title for your, pro for your analysis. Here we're going to just put in test. And so now we created a, a new static structural analysis called test and basically you want to go through uh, each one of these in order so one to seven so the first one was you know choose an analysis system the second is the engineering data this is actually where you choose all the type of material data you're going to use for your analysis so here as you can see we have uh, structural steel as uh, the default material uh, selected in ANSYS uh, at the bottom over here you can see that there is these are the properties for the uh, stru default structural steel in ANSYS. So as you can see this is the density value, uh, the Young's modulus, the Poisson ratio of 0.3. These are all really standard values. If uh, you needed to change them you could just obviously just go ahead in here and, and edit them and change them as you need. Or if you're not looking for steel and you're looking for something else, uh, ANSYS has actually a built-in uh, data source for you, so you have general materials, non-linear materials, you have a whole bunch, and uh, let's say you wanted to add uh, another default one for the sake of speeding up this process, let's say you wanted to add stainless steel, well you just go ahead here and uh, click on the plus, and now it's added to your project, so if we uncheck data sources we can see that we're now ha we now have two uh, uh, materials, stainless steel and structural steel. So once we have these two materials, we're going to go ahead and close out and we're going to go into geometry. So here you could actually import your own geometry or like let's say from a SOLIDWORKS file or a STP file or you could go ahead and create a new geometry. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So we'll double click on uh, geometry and that will go ahead and start the design modeler. Design modeler is basically like the uh, solid model editing platform in ANSYS. It's not the best. Obviously uh, uh, I guess starting out I would actually recommend people using SOLIDWORKS or uh, use another software uh, to maybe generate a 3D model and then import it. But if you're uh, keen on doing it in uh, ANSYS then by all means go ahead. So we're going to start with choosing a plane to sketch. So we're going to go hit let's say XY plane, it doesn't really matter which one you choose. going to go hit this button to look at the face plane so we get a normal view of our sketch. Then in modeling, we're going to now click right over here, it says sketching. So this is good, brings up the sketching window. So you have a whole bunch of tools from line, oval, square. We're going to go ahead and make a quick uh, rectangle. And then here we're going to go and dimension it out. We're going to use the general dimension for now, since this is like a quick study. Put 3 inches and let's say 10 inches. If you want to change the units, you could just go in here and change them up here. And then the, the unit system will change all around. And we're also going to maybe uh, make a little hole in the middle of our, of our thing here just to make it a bit more interesting. Now we're going to go head back to modeling and we're going to go extrude. Geometry, it's asking us, by default it's going to choose uh, the sketch one. And you can go hit apply. So we're basically extruding the sketch. Uh, the operation is add material. You could actually reverse the direction if you wanted to you can have it symmetric, uh, you can have it extend to a certain face if you had other objects in your design but here we're going to keep it simple, we're going to basically extrude at a depth of 2 inches and then you go ahead and click generate and there you have it 3D model, so that's actually going to be the model that we're going to be using so once that's done uh, you can basically uh, minimize that and now open up model so model opens up uh, the uh, mechanical interface. This is pretty much where you go through four, five, and six, seven all in one shot. So, uh, so here we are. It's basically attaching the geometry that we had in the previous step. And there we are. There's a little bar with our hole in it, 
and uh, and now we're in mechanical. So this is this is really the the last phase of of the the whole procedure and solving a you know problem in ANSYS. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through each one. So here we have our model. Here is the geometry. So it basically the solid. We have one solid. If you had maybe multiple parts, you'd you'd see them all listed here. And uh, this is actually where you want to choose uh, the uh, the material assignment. So here we have structural steel. But as you remember, we also added stainless steel. So you could actually choose stainless steel and then run it with those properties. But we're just going to go structural steel for now. So that's the first step is assigning your material. The next is uh, the mesh. So here we're going to go right click and we're going to go generate mesh. And ANSYS creates a default mesh. As you can see, it's a pretty good mesh. There's not much editing I need to do on this one. But let's say you wanted to add, uh, you want to change the size of the mesh. You could go in and choose uh, sizing, and you can go selection, and then you could basically click on the solid body, and click on your body, apply, and then here in the element size, you could basically change it to I don't know what we're gonna put. Uh, this is in millimeters now, so we could put uh, 25 millimeters and go update and now we can see our mesh okay that's actually bigger than what we had before than the default mesh if we want to go back to uh, inches we could just click over here and now we're in inches so you can see that's a one inch mesh so that means each element has one I is about is approximately one inch uh, we're gonna go ahead and actually change that back down to let's say 0.5 update wait for ANSYS to update the mesh. So we're going to keep that at uh, 0.5. I think that was actually the default mesh. But you basically get the idea here. You could change the sizing of the mesh. Now in uh, static structural, this is basically the uh, where you insert your loads and boundary conditions. So for this simple analysis, we're going to uh, right click on static structural, insert, and we're going to add a fixed support. So this is uh, a fully fixed support and we're going to basically choose the face that we want to support. So in this example I'm going to choose this face. You could choose multiple faces as well. You can hit the control key and select faces as you want. So we're going to go ahead and hit apply. Adsys now labels this as a fixed support. And now we're going to basically add a load. And in this case we're going to add a force on this face. Apply and we're gonna put something like 200 and you could see that automatically the direction is facing outwards you could change that with this arrow here to choose the direction that you want or if you really want it to be uh, if you want to have it a, a bit more precise you could actually go into components and you could add 200 in the positive direction as you can see here is the positive x direction so there we go so now we have our fixed support our force those are the minimum requirements for any uh, type of analysis in ANSYS we right click on solution and we can probably get the basic one so we're gonna get stress equivalent von Mises and we're gonna add also the total uh, deformation once that's done you can go ahead up here and click solve and ANSYS will then load the solver window and solve the solution for you. I hope that I didn't put uh, too, uh, too large force. So okay, so the solve is done. As you can see here the check marks uh, solution is done and there we have it. So here we go that's the equivalent stress. So as you can see here this is in PSI so it's 134 PSI. If you wanted it in uh, megapascals you could go ahead and change the units. That's point, that's not even one megapascal. So that's at the maximum stress, the red over here. Uh, you could go ahead and check the total deformation in millimeters. Uh, so obviously this is the fixed support, so it doesn't deform at all. It should be zero, and this should deform the most because this is actually where we're pulling our piece. Um, but as you can see, that it really the uh, force that I applied is almost nothing. So this is very this is a really exaggerated deformation. So you can see here the result is 3.4 times 10 to the four. Uh, that's the scale of, of of which we're viewing here, the deformation scale. If you go true scale. You know, you wouldn't even see it. I mean, it's this is such a small deformation that you would not even notice. So that's why the auto scale basically, uh, def you know, chooses a scale, multiplies the deformation by this factor, so you can actually see what's going on. Where is it? You know, wh where what's happening to the geometry? If you want to see the mesh at the same time, you could go ahead here and click on Show Elements, 
uh, and there you can see the elements and uh, let's say you want to probe some results you could go uh, or show let's say the maximum and the minimum so now we could see where the maximum occurs where the minimum occurs you could also go ahead and click probe and let's say you want to know what the stress was right here well there you have it stress on that surface uh, what else you could also do section planes so you can go here you can basically slice it up and have a look at the section you could also animate by clicking on this play button and basically animates the the deformation it basically ramps up from zero uh, zero force to maximum force uh, on your piece and gives you a little quick animation you could actually also save that animation as well so there you have it that's a quick quick introduction of uh, ANSYS uh, mechanical and I uh, hope that helps and gets you started and if you have any questions uh, leave it in the comment section below I'll be help you know no problem I'll answer you guys and if you thought it was helpful please subscribe and like the video and uh, that way I can keep posting videos. All right, well, thank you very much.